everybody. It is the long-awaited uh, fat head pizza crust done three twisted ways. And uh, the reason I'm going just live straight on my feed versus in a group or a page is there's some sort of glitch going on. So um, you just can't get any comments or you can't get anything going on. And I'm going to go this direction and see if that helps. So um, for anybody out there in the big uh, Facebook world who sees it, hi Jody, I see that. Um, you get to watch and learn how to make fathead pizza. It is one of the best pizza crusts out there if you are gluten free, if you are low carb, um, if you're keto, if you're gluten intolerant. I mean, this is just a wonderfully easy recipe. You can make your own pizza um, and you can, it's a versatile crust too. So um, I kind of got it a little prepped today. I did do a video back in December, fathead pizza party and adult beverages. Hi guys, I see you guys. Um, so anyway, let me explain this, this to you. Uh, Fathead Pizza Crust is made with mozzarella cheese, which I have one and three quarter cups down in this bowl. I've got it prepped. Um, I'm just going to give you the ingredients. And if you're part of my group, it is um, Keto for Real Life People group. That's how it's titled. Um, go join it there's a place called the recipe box it's a post it just has a picture of a little wooden recipe box that says all my favorites and in the comment section below that recipe box you will find tons and tons of recipes that are uh keto low carb um and you'll find this recipe for fathead pizza crust under there too so i can already see hi diana welcome um i usually do this in group but today we're gonna go just worldwide with it so here we go um and another reason we're doing pizza on tuesday oh my god we're not doing tacos right it's taco tuesday well it's a snow day here in east texas and i'm celebrating with pizza <laughs> that's all there is to it um the grandkids got to go out there and run around in the snow and enjoy themselves so um Today is pizza, movies, um, they got hot cocoa. I forgot to buy almond milk at the store, so I didn't get any. But I'm going to make up for it when we do this. Now, I'm going to do this in the microwave. Now, it is one and three quarter cups mozzarella cheese shredded. It is three quarters of a cup of almond flour. It is two tablespoons of cream cheese. And you can put seasonings down in this. Um, you can put Italian seasoning, you can put basil, you can put garlic, you can put whatever you want in it. Um, I'm gonna add an egg to this as well and I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for about one minute and then I'm gonna show you how to pat this out into a crust. Um, so here we go, I've got an egg out here and I'm gonna tilt this and don't mind the house, I mean seriously folks, let me tilt it a little bit and see if you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'll just be bent over like this all day. Hi everybody, how you doing? Anyways, into this goes an egg. Now, you could get a spoon if you like, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I like my hands. And yes, I did wash them, but it doesn't matter anyways. I ain't it, not you. But yes, I am constantly washing my hands, and if you have seen me in my group doing these videos, you know that I am uh, addicted to paper towels, because I'm constantly washing my hands, and then I have little piles of paper towels all over the place. So, what you guys are seeing me do here, I want you to see this. This is what it starts to look like. And I'm just kind of squishing the flour, the egg, and the cream cheese, and I'm just squeezing it in the bowl. Yes. Hi. That's my grandson, Dustin. He's all, hi. So what it does is it just incorporates everything. Now, when you see the recipe, I always say thank you, keto gods, to whoever gave some person out there the idea to come up with this recipe. It is not mine. It is just something I came across on Pinterest, the holy grail of ideas. You know, this is what I actually do, you know. You know how you go on Pinterest and you're like, create boards of all the things you're going to do. This is, this is one I do. So that's all mixed together. I'm going to rinse my hands 
and I'll tilt this up a little bit. Face palm. And I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for just one minute. And what that's gonna do is kind of melt the cheeses just enough to make it even more pliable. Hey, Shauna. I, I'm seeing people out there that, you know, I don't see in my group that are my actual Facebook friends. Hey, girl. Um, if you guys can see this, oh, gay, oh my gosh. So I'm not even getting the comments here either. I don't know what's going on. Left, left, left. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. All right, so. Can you guys see this? I was getting some comments and then I'm not getting some comments, so. I don't know. I don't know. But don't, don't worry, I'm not gonna stress about this. I'm gonna take this to the microwave and I'll let you watch me go across the kitchen. I see Jody, Jody, I don't know why, but you can actually, oh yes, I see y'all. So. so that's gonna go in the microwave for one minute and it's just gonna kinda get melty. Um, the actual recipe says to just do the cheeses alone and then add the flour. I don't like doing that, okay? Um, to me, it didn't cook right. So I just do it all at once. I cook it for one minute and then I take one minute off the back end of it when you pop it in the oven. It works out perfectly that way for me. So, um, and let's talk. I've got, what, about 30 seconds. We're gonna do my favorite okay i'm gonna eat this today so my favorite pizza is the chicken alfredo with mushroom spinach and red pepper flakes just hands down i could eat that every time but then i thought you know i don't need a whole pizza to myself i can only eat two slices anyway so why make a whole pizza um and i'm not a big fan of cold pizza never have been even before i went keto so um there goes my dinger hold on So anyway, I'm just gonna do it personal. And then I'm gonna divide this dough and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, I'm gonna start playing with it a little bit here because it's hot and I'm gonna finish stirring it. And I guess I'm gonna get a spoon cause it's dang hot. Hold on. Here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of squish it around a little bit, finish incorporating it. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing because this is live TV. You know how it goes, you can't just, there we go. Mm, it even smells so good. I did put a little garlic down in this, but I did not put any Italian seasoning because I'm going to use, see the size of that little bowl there? Just that little bit is going to make so much. I have had people ask me, can I eat the whole pizza? You can try, but I bet you can't. Unless you're one of those big burly guys who can eat like a ton of stuff, but not generally. This stuff is so filling and so good for you, so healthy. Two slices and you are done. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do with this crust or here is I'm just gonna pull it out of the bowl. That way y'all can see it. It's about the size of a softball or a small grapefruit, somewhere right in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it up into pieces. I want a piece for pizza. I think that would make just the right amount of pizza. Yeah, so I'm gonna plop it on a pan. And then I want another piece about the same size as that for my second idea. Mind you, I've never tried any of this before. I mean, I've taken little pieces and made it, baked it, put it in the Ziploc bag for tortillas or wraps. So keep that in mind. Then I still have this much dough left. Okay? <clears throat> and I'm going to do some small little balls. I'm thinking like, like this size. Like probably an inch and a half. Yeah, about that. So I'm going to do that. And... I'm gonna move this bowl out of the way. And my hand is all gooey, so I can't see. I'm ready to wash my hands again. But here we go. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna tilt it for you. Oh, I don't wanna touch my phone with my yucky, sticky 
hands. And I'm going to tilt it, tilt it, tilt it, tilt it. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Jody, for whatever reason, girl, you're coming through and I can see your little hearts and stuff. So, anyways, I'm making these little balls. You know, it is January. I don't know who's watching Super Bowls. I don't know. But, you know, there's also birthdays. There's holidays. Valentine's Day is coming. There's all little kinds of reasons. I think that, there we go. You guys, there we go. How's that? <laughs> My grandson thinks oh. that's funny. I wonder how long I could hold this. Okay, so I ended up with, um, I ended up with a couple of puny balls there, so. There we go. Okay, so I ended up with two, two big balls and about seven little ones. Mind you, you can make this up in batches as big as you like. Um, but for what I want to do today, this will work out perfectly. Um, I'm going to take and wet my hands because this stuff gets very sticky. It's cheese. It's egg. It's, you know, it's, it can be very sticky. So, yep, here we go. Somebody asked me, said, can you make it in a waffle maker? Well, I've never tried it. But you can try it and then get back to me. I don't even own a waffle maker. So, but I thought that sounds cool. Possibilities or a panini maker, one of those sandwich presses. That would be awesome. Oh, shoot. Okay, I washed my hands. Now I'm going to get them wet. The trick to making this pizza dough is to have wet hands to press it out. And I, I don't want this to flip over into the sink because that's where I'm attached. Okay, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. You just take this dough with damp, wet hands, and you start patting it out. And you can pop it in the pan like this. I've got this pan lined. I've got this pan lined with parchment paper. And I will tell you, I had somebody say they tried using foil, and it's stuck like crazy. So if you're using something like that, I suggest you grease the heck out of it. Because if not, you will end up with... Uh, a, a big mess that you will not be happy with. So, all right, so one is padded out. I'm trying to make space on this counter, okay? So one is padded out. I think I'm gonna put the other one here. Get my hands wet again. There we go. Okay, I feel like a well, it's, it's probably good for my thighs, right? Squat, squat, hold it. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. I just don't know why I'm having technical difficulties. So anyways, I'm patting out number two. And that one patted out really pretty. You see, they're really easy. You don't need a rolling pin. You don't need to flour a board. You don't need to use yeast and flour and make a big mess. And ba-da, I got another one. Now the little ones, same procedure, but I'm going to leave these ones, I'm going to make appetizers with them. I wanted to show you guys how we could do some, some cute little um, apps. So if you are having a party, guess what, and you're keto, low carb, and you're like, well, I don't want to eat a meat and cheese tray. I'm so sick of meat and cheese trays, I could scream, and I can't have queso and chips, and you know, so hey, let's do something different, all right? Like this and this. These things do not expand. They're not going to melt and get bigger. So whatever size you make them, that's what they are. And I'm just going to whoop, 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 pat it out. And just into little rounds, you know. Something that you can bake, top, put some toppings on. And then you've got some appetizers. Now, if your whole party is keto, you're going to be busy making these out the wazoo. Let me tell you. Feel the burn. Feel the burn, guys. But if it's just you, this is something you can easily make ahead. You can make your fathead pizza crusts up so that it's ready for whenever you want. You can make some of these little ones up. You can put them in a baggie, stick them in the freezer, and then you have them ready for whenever you need them. So it's something you could do with meal prep. It's something you could get your kids involved in and let them help you with this. Mm -mm -mm, I need a room here. Room, room. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. It all fit. All right, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Here we go. Bam. 
All right, fork. I don't know where you guys are. I really don't. It says swipe, swipe, swipe. My live viewers, nine. Hmm, something is going on here. Fork, guys. You dock, then dock, and dock, and dock, and dock, and dock these. That way, um, they don't puff up when they're baking. Um, if you don't dock them, you'll get big bubbles, and it won't be all that great. Amazing how I can see a heart go by. Dory, I can see your thumbs coming up. Something's up with my settings. And I think it has to do with the fact that there was an iOS update this weekend, and something is going on. So... Here we go. I'm docking all of these little things, by the way. Dock, 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 dock. Here we go. Oops, I tore one. See, I'll just pat it back down and I'll dock it. Now, while I pop these in the oven, my oven is set at 425 degrees. And these will bake for about eight to nine minutes. I'm going to keep a close eye on them, though, because I got the little bitty ones, okay? And I, I need to fix this one because I kind of made a mess of it. And it was like, you don't love me. You're not making me pretty. But we get the general idea. I'll call them rustic apps. <laughs> okay, guys. Here we go. I've just got them squished out. Some little, couple of medium ones. If you wanted to make all medium ones, to me, these are the best tortillas. They are just no fuss, no muss. And... Two of those, I, two of those that size I can't eat if I'm using them for tacos. I'm telling you. Too much. I'm putting them in the oven. I'm looking at time. Let's see what time it is. 1.53. Okay. So, now what are we going to put them on? What are we going to put on top of them? Well, here's some ideas I had. One of them is going to get my Alfredo sauce which I just buy Bertoli's, um, garlic Alfredo. It's four, uh, two carbs for a quarter cup. Oh, oh my God. I won't even use that much. So yes. And then Sunday, I made bone broth with chicken thighs and I kept all the meat from that. So I get to use that meat on my pizza and that's gonna be great. Now, if I didn't have that meat, I would probably buy a rotisserie chicken. Cause I love me some rotisserie chicken. I'd be like that one commercial where that you know the whole house has repurposed the rotisserie chicken containers. Yes, my furniture would be my furniture would be made out of rotisserie chicken crates. <laughs> so spinach, um, some basil. Oh, I forgot my red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes and mushrooms. So that's what's going to go on top of that pizza. Now, on the other one, here's my idea. And I've never tried it, but I'm sure it's going to be great because, you know, I'm getting better without the hit and misses. I'm going to do the other one as a breakfast pizza. Um, or if you will, you could fold it over, over and make it like a Sammy, you know? So I thought, why go through the purpose of getting out a pan and butter and cooking and blah, 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 when all I have to do is get a mug and pop some butter down in it. Um, now remember, fat first. Nom, 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 nom. I'm always saying, get you some, get you some. Um, pop this down into the mug as so. You don't have to melt it. You just grab an egg. I thought I had an extra. I don't. Got one right here. And I'm going to just put an egg down in that mug. And then I'm going to use a fork. Butter, egg, fork. You know, this is the basis for mug bread, too. If you were to add three tablespoons of almond flour to it and a 
some baking powder, uh, you would end up with mud bread. But for this instant, I'm just going to make a scrambled egg in the microwave in a minute. Because that's how quick it can be, guys. If you don't have a lot of time in the morning, scramble an egg in a mug with some butter in it and pop it out on your plate or carry it to work with you while you're eating it. Just You get in the car and just like, oh, there's my eggs in the morning. Got my pre-cooked bacon, cheese, throw it all off in there. Okay, so I'm putting this in the microwave for a minute. And then what are we going to put on top of our little appetizers? Um, we are going to put, oh, I got some pepperoni, of course. I did have some meatballs out. I had bought a bag of those frozen meatballs probably back in December or whatever. And I pulled them out and I looked at them because I was thinking, ooh, I'm going to make it like a meatball sub. Now, if I want to take the time, I could definitely do that. I could use this, one of those big round ones. And I could uh, load it with meatballs. I could load it with a little bit of marinara, some mozzarella cheese, and have like that mouthfeel meatball deli sub. But they had wheat and I cannot have gluten, so I skipped that idea, but I wanted to let you know. So again, I got out the pepperoni, which I always keep some on hand. I got some um, Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese out for some flavor profile. But I also, you know, I made that pork roast and I got to use it up. So I, I cut some pork roast up and I got some 505 green chili. So I can make little, little appetizers with pork and green chili and I could top them with a little dab of sour cream. We can go with olives. I'm just saying the possibilities of what you can think to make appetizers are <laughs> phenomenal. My egg is done. Need a different fork. Clean fork. One more minute. No, not one more minute. My egg is cooked. So, see guys? Scrambled eggs in a mug. And they're so buttery and so yummy. Can y'all tell? I don't know. I don't want to bring them on camera. I just want to add all, invite friends. Don't know. Not gonna mess with it. Okay. So, yeah, I just I wanted to bring that up. I'm making pizzas. Um, I'm making a breakfast wrap, and then we're gonna do some appetizers. But you know, it's funny how you can interchange things. Okay, so while we're making lunch, we're also making breakfast, we're making appetizers for a get-together or a night when you don't feel like eating a whole heavy meal, um, and it's versatile. Like I said, that's just one batch, and I was thinking about cost and how effective that is. Shoot, one, one bag of almond flour lasts me forever, ever, and I get so many things out of it. I don't know how many pizzas versus breads versus just I mean coatings for your meat and stuff so if you get the opportunity build up on your pantry you don't have to worry about doing it all at once but just simple things like almond flour cheese some butter some eggs and a whole new world opens up to you alrighty I'm gonna check on this pizza real quick mm -mm -mm. He's coming along. Now see, here's where I would take the opportunity to answer questions. Uh, Jody, you can talk to me. Dory, for some reason you can talk to me. Do you guys have a question for me? Um, it's, yeah, it's just add, add, add. Oh look, I look thinner. Oh my gosh, Jean, I have figured. No, it says add and then it has people talking. Stephanie, oh, ads talking. I'm I'm scrolling, you guys. I do eat beef. <laughs> That's the last thing I saw. Um, I do eat beef. I love beef. I probably eat too much of it, but I've tried to cut it down to twice a week. I love, love, love steak. 
Yay! Um, <laughs> Dory, yay! <laughs> I'm getting hearts. I'm getting people responding. Uh, Jennifer, yes, bringing it. She's watching. So, anyway, I do love it. I love pork. I like chicken. I like everything pretty much. I just don't like uh, liver. Not a big fan of it or organ meat, stuff like that. Um, Dory, I can see your hearts, honey. I'm so thankful for them. Um, if anybody else can see this, you see Dory's giving me hearts and likes. Could y'all do the same thing? It just, uh, it, it really helps with boost my algorithm. So, anyway, I do love most meats and proteins. I just go easy on them, you know, normal serving. I don't, I don't cut out on them, but I do uh, eat meat every day. Every day. I'm a carnivore. Wow. So here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm watching this here. I'm waiting for it to go. So I'll take a moment, since I'm not getting a lot of feedback, to tell you about the group. Um, if you know anybody who needs to lose weight, most people think keto is only for weight loss. But I'm going to tell you, that is the number one thing. Um, but it's also for people who are trying to live healthier. And you might have issues like gluten intolerance. You might be diabetic. You might have PCOS. You know, it doesn't matter. You might have um, problems with kidneys. You might, you know, whatever it is, this way of eating can be very beneficial to you. Um, I like what Dr. Barry said on Sunday about how, um, you know, for, for me, keto works because I can't eat sugar. Sugar leads to uh, overeating and cravings for me. It leads to uh, weight gain. It leads to un stiff joints. It, it leads to wrinkles which I'm not worried about the wrinkles yet, but, okay, but it, it, it does work for me because it is absolutely zero sugar. I eat berries. That's my extent of my sugar and some keto approved sweeteners. Um, for other people who can just do low carb and they still want their fruit and they still want uh, certain things like honey and things like that, paleo. They're, and they're both healthy, okay? But our group is dedicated to keto for real life for beginners because we're all real life people, all right? I don't buy the fanciest of the stuff. I don't live the fanciest. And I say, if you can get the best, get the best. But if you can't get what you can, can't get what you can and get what you can to be healthy. So if you have never been over to <clears throat> that page, uh, check it out. It's an open group. Anybody's welcome who is wanting to, we work as a group, guys, okay? Let me check on this again. <clears throat> Woo. Perfect timing, saved by the bell. Let me show you guys. Look at those. They are, let me tilt it a little bit. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? They're wonderful, okay? So they're just, they are just little flatbreads. And they are hot as hell. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off this oven real quick and let that cool down and slide some stuff out so that I can make room on the counter. But now the fun starts. Once you get through the crust being made, guys, it's like topping a bubbly. You know, you just top it with whatever you want and pop it back in the oven until your cheese is melty and you can turn your broiler on on top if you want it to have that golden deliciousness. So, I need a drink. And no, it's not an adult beverage. It's not quite five o'clock yet, but I might have one today. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, uh, let's do the appetizers first, okay? Um, He's so hot, man. Here we go. Get my hot pad back. What'd I do with it? I'd lose my own head if it wasn't attached to my body. My daughter's like, oh my God, Mom. So, okay. This is my work surface. And I do, I just want, ouch. I'm unsticking all of them so that I can actually pick them up and show you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this bite size. It's I mean it's holding up. It's not like it's gonna 
weenie out on you and fall apart. So, there's another one. All right. So we are gonna do some toppings. And what I did was, I should've probably got another jar, but I think I'll do like um, two. I am gonna take a little bit of that pork roast. Let me see what I did with it. Oh, it's right here. Green chili and pork. Who loves it? Who loves green chili and pork? Oh my gosh. My New Mexico friends and family know what I mean when I say green chili and pork. Unfortunately, in East Texas, it is hard to come by. It's wolf chili and cheese. Yeah, it's all wolf brand chili and cheese. It's called Tex-Mex, which I've learned to like it over the years. But I mean, when we first came here to Texas 16 years ago, we were like, wait, who put chili on my enchiladas? Who put, who put this on there? It's supposed to go on hot dogs. <laughs> So I'm just putting down a little bit of this sauce on here, and I'm going to tilt it. I'm going to have to do squats again, aren't I? And I'm going to put just a little pop, look, just a little dab. I've got to just cut up into little thin slivers so they'll heat up nicely in the oven, you know? Uh, nothing too thick. I kind of want everything to evenly cook. Just a little bite, because it's an appetizer. Appetizers are bites. And then I got some cheese and I'm just I'm only putting just like look I went to the store and I bought American cheese and I bought mozzarella cheese and I bought Parmesan cheese and I forgot Colby and cheddar it's always something with me so I had these little cube Colby's that I bought and I just took like four of them and I sliced them <gasps> that's great so because we're just gonna have a taste of cheese make do with what you got in real life that's what I say all right, and I might top that. Now I'll show, I'm gonna flip this down before I pop it in the oven, and I will show you how that's gonna look. All right, so I've got two green chili and uh, pork green chili appetizers. Now my other one is a little bit of mozzarella cheese, just a little bit on here. I'm gonna top it, two of them. And pepperoni, because everybody loves pepperoni bites or pizza bites or whatever. And you can add sauce if you like, guys. I just don't like it. I'm not unless it's on pasta. I don't. I don't care about it too much. All right, and you could give it a little. You could give it a little titch of some Parmesan, so you get that little salty bite on top as well, just like that. And then the last two, I said I was going to do the meatballs, but, oh, I actually have, now I'm going to do two. Okay, so two. Let's get this one weirdo one out of there. All right. So last but not least, oh, I was just going to do a veg one. So I'm going to go back over here uh, to the mozzarella cheese. I did have an Italian cheese blend too, but I figured, hey, mozzarella and parm, that's good enough blend for me no Romano so I'll just put a little on there and maybe I will do a little bit a, a slice of mushroom hold 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 one second for me please olives olives and mushrooms mm, did you know let, let me show you all this oh my glasses are steamed up let's see four olives is a serving the fat, four and a half grams of beautiful fat in four olives. That's freaking awesome. Now these are the Kalamatas and they are pre-pitted. So I'm just gonna grab a couple. Look, two olives. Come on now, they can't beat that. And I'm just gonna rough chop it. Just kind of just give it a little, a little something, something there. Put it on there. And then I'm gonna do it with the second one. Hi, I see all these people popping in here. I sure wish I could see the comments. I need somebody who knows a Facebook guru who can help me out with my social issues right now. I mean, seriously, anybody out there in this whole wide world who can fix my phone, I will love forever. I will be grateful. So, okay, 
And then again, I'm going to just get a little top of cheese. This is coming along. I'm going to, I'm going to put this, oops, top cheese, pepperoni. So, and then I'm going to give it a sprinkle of some basil because we're talking olives, mushrooms. No, I don't have fresh basil, but hey, this works, right? Just a sprinkle, just a little titch on that. And even a little on the pepperoni. We're going to keep it away from the the, pe the pork and green chili. So, so far, here's what we're looking like, guys. Let me bring this up to you. Oh, that's not good enough. Let me slide this down so that you can see what we are doing right there. Can you all see so far? Isn't that pretty? I haven't even popped it in the oven yet, and it looks delicious. So, quickly here, I'm going to finish these two off. I'll get, I'll get my pizza jam going. My daughter said to me earlier, she said, I said I'm freaking starving. I haven't ate yet today. She goes, you screwed up, Mom. I said, well, I didn't screw up. I'm going to eat. You know, I, I, I intermittent fast. I, I eat anywhere from 10 to 7 o'clock at night. She's all, but you know what? You're hungry. And I'm like, you're right. I'm not supposed to get hungry. So I ate a couple cubes of cheese. Just, just enough. Yeah. So, well, she's over there talking. She's over there talking. I actually put a little part. <laughs> ah, so what the hell? I just put some on my uh, other uh, piece of crust too. So, all right. Let's see how breakfast Alfredo goes. All right. So here we go. Cheese. Chicken. And it just doesn't take that much. Some slices, pieces. I like it kind of rustic. I said that before. I haven't changed. I still like, kind of like it rustic and yummy. Just a few bites per slice. I, there we go. Spinach. And I just don't see how people can get away. I bitched about it then and I will get. This does not look like baby spinach, y'all. I paid for baby spinach and I get these giant daddy spinaches. Just saying, I like the little ones. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, Nancy, you're so freaking crazy. <laughs> so I tear them up. So I've got some, some spinach, my mushrooms. I only need a few because this is going to be just a personal pan pizza. My pepper flakes. Parm. And voila. And then last but not least, we have scrambled eggs. Okay, and I'm going to put this down on this pizza crust. It's already cooked. Again, it's like a bobole pizza crust, so you don't have to worry about, you know, all you have to worry about is your toppings getting nice and hot and bubbly. So I've got eggs. I chopped up some bacon on top of there and of course I need a little cheddar cheese Colby cheese I don't care for mozzarella on my eggs it's too bland too bland but this will be just right now I could leave it at that. I've got eggs and bacon and cheese, but I could add spinach. I could add mushroom. I could add peppers. I could make it like a southwestern omelet at this point. I'm looking around here thinking, hmm, what do I want? And I'm like, I like jalapenos. So, again, let me grab a fork and I will just add a couple. Just a couple of pickled jalapeno slices from a jar. Easy peasy. And we're gonna call that good. All right, guys, are you still with me? I see that there's a love in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring this down so you can see it. I'll try to bring it up and down at the same time. Can you see what we've got going on here? Is that fantastic? We've got breakfast, we've got lunch or dinner, we've got appetizers. All 
from one, just one batch of Fathead Pizza Crust, you can get a whole pan of food like this. And it goes a long way and it tastes delicious. So I've got this all topped. I've got the cheese on everything. It's going back in the oven for just a few minutes, all right? And I'll be right back. You would not believe what a mess my kitchen is. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hi, Barbara. Thank you, Jody. Yes, I think it's going to be so yummy, you know? And because I got grandkids here and my daughter here, I'm sure they're going to help me munch this up. The first time I did a... Do what? I did tell her no earlier. I just don't think it's fair that she can eat whatever she wants and never gain weight. I'm like, yeah, you eat all my food and then you eat all your food. I can't eat your food. <laughs> but I, I don't care. They can eat it. Um, so anyways, it is so tasty. It's yummy. The kids are going to help me with it. And the first time I did this, uh, I was home alone. Husband was out on the road. Uh, hi, Jennifer. And the kids were all gone, and I did a video, and I ended up making two giant pizzas, and I wasn't even keto then. <laughs> I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it. But, you know, I will say this about that pizza. When What you don't eat, it's just like any other pizza. You just put it in a Ziploc bag, pop it in your fridge, and put it in the fridge, take it out, put it in the microwave, and you're good for go. Um, you could pop it back under the broiler and the oven too. It, it could get just a little bit softer, but it kind of reminds me of like a thin crust pizza and so, so, so delicious. So, all right guys, I, oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, you missed the good veggies. Why do you miss them, sweetie? How come you don't eat them? Are you, are you not able to? Hmm. I don't know why. But I do love my veggies. Oh, and I'll just make this point while we're waiting for this to, to melt down. Veggies are a very important part of your keto journey. Let me put it that way to you, okay? Um, we get really focused on fats, and y'all know I always, I'm always pushing fat, pushing fat, pushing fat. And then we always say, oh, am I eating too much protein? But we don't really give uh, our vegetables the credit that they are due, honestly. I kind of believe that there's a reason that we are able to eat the uh, leafy greens, the spinach, the kale, the, the lettuces, the Swiss chard, cabbage, all of these wonderful green vegetables, um, snow peas, uh, we, we need them. They are so full of phytonutrients, zucchini, um, spaghetti squash. I mean, we do eat vegetables and if we skip them, and, and replace vegetables with uh, protein, uh, we are really kind of doing ourselves a disservice. Um, I, I feel that vegetables actually aid in the way you stay full because they have fiber and our bodies need it. So that helps with that. Um, but the nutrients that it carries, the magnesium, the potassium, um, vitamin A, vitamin K, I mean, it just, the list goes on, guys. So uh, while I'm waiting for this, I'm like, eat your veggies. You need them. I try to put vegetables in every day, every day, somehow, some way, with everything that I eat. Um, breakfast in the morning, it's usually avocado. Sometimes it's sliced mushrooms. Sometimes it's sautéed spinach. Sometimes it's sautéed zucchini and peppers but there's a veggie. And then at night, uh, last night it was broccoli, but I've been known to, you know, just have a big garden salad plus broccoli because there's room for it. Jody, you are so hung on that vitamin D sister girl. I'm telling you, you're fine. Take your vitamin D. Don't worry about it. It's good. I take mine every day, every day. All right, guys, give me a second. I'm going to look in the oven real quick. I could take you with me. But then you'd see my counter, but I guess you can because that's the way it goes. Here I go. I'm going to take a look. Um, my oven is off because I turned it off. So, yeah, it's all ooey gooey. It's just not quite brown, so I'm going to flip it to broiler real quick. Oh, guys, look. I left one of these out, and now that it's cool, I'm like, what can I clink it on? Oh, this little dish. I mean... By itself, it's delicious. Delicious. So, say for lunch, you want to have tuna salad. 
you want to you want these these are delicious okay you could probably make them thinner and i know that i've heard of fat head crackers but this is endless right here this is great you're having dinner and you want that bread feel say you're doing zucchini and marinara sauce and you're topping it you could make these and you would not miss garlic bread whatsoever i mean i i'm i'm telling you guys make these make fat head pizza dough use it however you want to it's delicious um let's see barbara watch knees did you try the waffle maker <laughs> i don't know when you clicked in but i did mention it i don't own a waffle maker but it, i do say if you have one why don't you try it and then get back with me and let me know how it goes because i think that sounds like a fabulous idea fabulous um or a sandwich maker that's what i was saying a sandwich press you could you could do all kinds of things with this oh my god it's so good i told you guys i was hungry <laughs> now let me check i don't want to burn my shit mm. i know they say this on tv but i'm gonna say it too I wish there was such thing as smell-o-vision because it smells so dang good. I opened up the oven and I'm like, mm, I can't wait for that to be done. So, we are there. I'm cleaning up my little olive mess and my stuff. And I'm so thankful that you guys watched today. I so appreciate it. I'm getting some of these comments through. And for the ones that I do have and the ones that are watching and who will watch on replay, thank you guys so much. Please give a moment to take a look at Keto for Real Life People group and join the group. And while I'm at it, the way that page works is totally, totally different than any other support group you've been in. When you scroll through that page, you're going to see a picture. You're going to see a picture of a little brown recipe box. I keep repeating this, I know. But all those recipes are in the comments below that. You're going to see another picture that says week three. Everything that this group is working towards together is in that comment box below the picture that says week three. We work as a group. We work tight together. So join if you like. Ah. Ow. Alrighty guys, we have done it. The pan is hot, so I will bring the phone to the pan instead of me trying to lift the pan. Here we go. I might try to lift. No, I'm not going to try to lift the pan. I'm going to bring that down and show you guys. What say you? Hmm? Chicken Alfredo. We have got some uh, pork and green chili. We have got pepperoni and mozzarella. We have got calamata olive and mushroom. And we have a breakfast pizza that could easily. Let me see where there's a. Let me see if I can just lift this up. I mean, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I want to take pictures. I've got to take pictures of this when I get out of here because I want to post them up on the group page for you. But I'm going to do this. Look at you guys. Look at that. Oh, is that good or what? Yes. And then I'm going to do this one. And you can kind of see how big that is. That's... That is a generous serving, believe it or not. It's so filling. But there's that chicken and Alfredo sauce. And then for... Look, I want to do it this way. See? It holds up on its own. That is cheddar, pork, and green chili. Yum! For the friends. For the kids. Pizza bites, anybody? Yes, pizza. And last, yes, yes. yes? And yes, mom told us. And olives and mushrooms. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know there was only 12, and I'm still having my issues, but by golly, we're still getting it done. I will catch up with you guys later. Have a wonderful day. If you're here in East Texas, stay safe. Watch those rows. They're supposed to ice up again as the sun goes down. And uh, enjoy your week, guys. I will catch up to you soon, and thank you for watching.